Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over um, the recent changes of Team Rumble and Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 7. If you enjoy the video, like, hit, hit, the, hit, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, hope you're having a good day, and uh, yeah, enjoy this video. So, um, Team Rumble changed in Fortnite in a recent season that released 3-4 days ago. Um, there's a lot of hate going about it, uh, some... Mainly sweats are saying it's good. People are doing their challenges. They're saying it's bad. Um, or are used to doing challenges in Team Rumble. You can't really do them anymore. Um, or saying it's bad. I want to say my opinions about it. And I want to say what I think Epic can do. To make them both. Like agree with both sides. And make it better for both sides. So. Number one. My opinion. I don't like this Team Rumble. I like the old one, not because I was doing challenges, because I was. I was using Team Rumble to get challenges, level up fast, all that. But I was also using it to get better at the game. I like going in Team Rumble to warm up, and I go in like a solo duo for squads, and I'd be better than I was if I didn't go into it. Like I was warmed up, I was ready to go. I win a couple matches, even. That's what I used Team Rumble for mainly. It was to warm up or to complete challenges. Now, if you go into Team Rumble and you're seeing a picture of it on screen right now, you can't do that because you don't get the loot you really want. You're stuck with a green shotgun, green AR, and a green sniper. You might get lucky and be able to get some loot, but the two buzzes are going the same way. The circle's already there. You have under a minute to get the loot. And also the fact that there's more sweats in that mode. I've never seen Team Rumble this sweaty or with as many players that are just sweats literally throughout the entire game. It's history of me playing Team Rumble. I've never seen that many sweats in one match. I've seen so, so many. And it's pretty difficult to get any kills unless, you know, you sweat on them. But I used to get 30 bombs, even 50 once I got a 50 bomb in Team Rumble. Now I only get 10, 15 if I'm lucky. Like, I mean, <laughs> it is so hard to get anything done in that mode. Not just challenges, but also anything. Like, so many sweats. I get why Epic did it, because sweats have recently been complaining, saying that... Um, there's no competitive asset to Season 7, um, which is just absolute bullcrap, but I, I guess I can see why they're saying it. Um, also, you guys have to remember that arena points aren't resetting till for another 2 or 3 weeks. Um, so, I think it's that's one of the reasons why they're saying that. Um, but it does look like this is just an experiment, and Epic is trying to figure out a way to... Make it good for both sweats and casual players, but also people like to just do challenges and leave. Now, the reason why they did it is so that we don't end up with lobbies in Team Rumble where it's like 12v3 or 4. You know what I mean? Like, half both team leaves, and the other teams like have like 10 more people, and obviously you're going to lose if you're on the team that has less people. Um, so it's really, and people keep leaving because of that. So... I can see why Epic did it, I truly do, but it I don't like it. <laughs> um, it is so annoying when you're trying to do something and you get killed by a sweat because they think they're better than you, which they aren't, and they kill you non-stop and they target you because the circle's so small and everyone's spawning in the air at the same damn time, they just snipe you out of the air like I did yesterday at least five times. Like I said, I literally got killed five times by the same sweat. In the air as I was gliding down. Because they figured out my spawn location and did that. Now in the old Team Rumble. It was kind of the same. But the circle was a little bit bigger. You had more time to get loot. You had all this time to do whatever you wanted. That's what needs to happen. Now what. Number two. What I think Epic can improve. How Epic can improve Team Rumble. Epic can improve Team Rumble. By simply. Either adding another mode for sweats, revert Team Rumble to what it was before. If you really want this mode, 
make another mode for it. I don't know what you call it. Team Rumble 2.0 or whatever. Call it that. Just, there are people who want to do challenges. And it's very hard for them right now. Because we have sweats in every mode. Because Arena's not reset. They're taking over casuals. And then you have Team Rumble, which again was just re updated. So it's literally working for sweats. It's not working for anyone else. So people who actually want to play the game and grind, you can't really do that. Unless you a creative mode comes out, which is what I've been using mainly. But it is so difficult to get anything done anymore because of Team Rumble. And also I think Arena's not being reset. So, I think those are the two main problems right now. But I think Epic can improve Team Rumble by being able to, if they don't want to make another mode, and keep it the same mode. You expand the Storm Circle, you make it longer, back to what it was, or even longer than that, honestly, I don't know. You amp up the loot. Spawn rate, like chests, ammo boxes, because let's be real, the ammo boxes barely spawn at all on Team Rumble. Um, at least where I drop all the time is Lazy Lake and Team Rumble to open up ammo boxes. And there's only like 20, 30 there, and now there's like 5, maybe 10 if you're lucky. Like, that is very bad. Um, like, they need to amp that up again. Um, and also... Make the storm probably do less damage than it does right away. I think right away it does two tick. They need to bring it down to one. Let's be real. Um, also, if it comes down to 11v4, just move people from one team to another. Put everyone in like... Reset everything. Just reset all the players on the map. And put them on the same... Different teams. So it can be equal. I'm not saying get rid of your loot or your shields or whatever. I'm saying you all get like. Watch it makes sense because you have UFOs now. Just bring up all the people. And make them reset. And then they glide down. And they're on different teams so it's even. That is a way you can make Team Rumble better. If you really want to make it even for the players. You can just reset everyone. Again by keeping their loot. Keeping their shields. But you just bring them up to the sky so they have to skydive down. You move them to different teams so it's equal, like a 7v7 instead of a 12v4. That wasn't the right math, but you know what I mean. And just do that. Or you don't have to reset anyone at all and just simply just move people from one team to another. Make it equal. That is the best way you can make Team Rumble better. Not give us a crappy blanking mode. And just say, we're siding with the sweats on this one, here you go. Now, I'm assuming this is just an experiment, like I said earlier. Because Epic did send out a survey saying that um, they want our feedback. And I'm assuming a lot of feedback was, we don't agree with anything they did. Or strongly disagree with they, <laughs> what they did. Um, so I do think it will change, hopefully. Sooner rather than later. Um, now, again, I understand both sides. I understand the sweat sides. You know, you don't really get that much competitive crap. I understand people who want to do challenges side of things. I'm on that side mainly. But I understand both. I, I truly understand both. Why you guys like this mode. Why you guys don't. But I think it is important to look at what they can do. Instead of pleasing one side of the aisle and not the other side. There's a way to make both sides happy and this is not the way. This is the way to make the sweats happy instead of the other side. Now the old Team Rumble, I believe made both happy. Because you could complete challenges and you could also sweat at the same time. Now you're just sweating. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to play that mode, you're just sweating 24-7. That's all you're doing. So, I don't think this is helping both sides. If you thought last Team Rumble was just siding with the challenges, which maybe it was in some cases, especially with people leaving, I could see it siding with the challenges instead of the sweats. But, I do think the best way for Epic to side with both 
It's not probably revert it back to Team Rumble. They could revert it back, but also add on to it. Bring stuff from this Team Rumble into the other one by giving us random loot, giving us a green shotgun, AR, and sniper, but also expanding the circle to what it was before, amping up the loot like it was before, because I'm pretty damn sure there was a downgrade to the loot. Um, chances of it spawning, like ammo boxes, chests, like I said. All that I'm pretty sure dropped in the new Team Rumble mode, so it's harder to get more ammo and all that crap. They need to amp that up like it was before. Um, and again, make sure, add a th way to where you, if it's a 12v4, the teams get evenly split if someone leaves or if multiple people leave within like, like two minutes. It resets, everyone's, the teams are equal, and there's no hate or anything sent towards Epic or Team Rumble. That's the best way you can do it, Epic. I don't think there's another way you can do it, because you, you're you siding with the sweats. I think that is the number one thing that Epic is trying to do. They're not trying to say, we don't care about your opinions. They're trying to say, we're, we're going to look at what uh, works. What you guys like, we'll keep. What you don't, we're going to change. I think it's going to be really good for Team Rumble in the future. Like a hopefully sooner rather than later situation. Um, really hope it's sooner rather than later. So when they do make a new Team Rumble, they can say, Hey, these people like doing challenges, but these people like doing sweats. And also, we have the people who both agree that... The Teams are too small because people do challenges and leave. How do we fix that? That's what they're going to be asking themselves. And I think that's going to be the number one thing they're going to focus on. Because that's what they need to do. That's why they made this mode so that people aren't leaving every five seconds. And are being like, hey, we did our challenges. We're going to leave. But also we're going to ruin the game for everyone else because it's going to be 12v4. They're probably going to be focusing on that. And I really hope they do. Because they need to fix that. If they want to keep people on Team Rumble. For both sides of the aisle. Both people who want to sweat. And play the game really competitively. And for people who are casuals. Or just want to complete challenges. You can do that in the new Team Rumble. That's what they need to do. That's what they need to work on. That's how they can make Team Rumble better. For the whole Fortnite community. That is my view on it. You can share your opinions in the comments down below. I'm going to be interested to see them. Um, so yeah, let me know your opinions down below about the Team Rumble if you like it. What you want to see change in it. Again, I do think this is just an experiment. I don't think it is actually just going to stay the mode forever. This is just Epic testing something out to see the community's response. If we like it, we're going to keep it. If we don't, they're going to change it. I think either way, they were probably going to change it. Because they knew it wasn't going to end well for people who like doing challenges. Um, but I do think this is a good thing for the Team Rumble people. Team Rumble community, Fortnite community, whatever. Both competitive casuals and people who like doing challenges. Can both agree on that if this goes a way where both sides can be happy. This will be good in the long run. I know it's annoying right now for those who are doing challenges or casuals but please trust me when I say it more likely be good in the long run meaning we'll get a better team rumble than we did before we'll get a better team rumble than we have now we'll get things from this team rumble and the old team rumble to make it probably the best team rumble we've probably ever had and it will both help uh in this new mode hopefully will help both sides instead of just siding with one like it is now I think, or, and before, and I think that is why Epic's doing it, and I think it, like I said, it'll really be good in the long run. Um, so yeah, that's just my view on it, again, show your opinions about the new Team Rumble down below, what you want to see in Team Rumble, um, or what Epic's do to make it better, uh, thanks for watching, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time, bye guys.